And then the gun. That thing's a monstrosity. That it is. <laughs> that thing's huge. That Good it is. Lord. That is. Good Alright folks, today is Monday and I got a package in from once again Mercari. Uh, this popped up, I just so happened to be logged on and I jumped on it. This is something I don't really come across very often in the wild. I have found maybe once or twice um, at yard sales. It does not happen very often and so we're going to dive on in. I paid $24 for what you're going to see in the picture or in the package and uh, this guy was I, had, I looked at his account and he had been listing other lots that were similar to this um, this just happened to be the one that I was able to snatch up but I looked at his other lots and I was like oh man I wish I'd have been able to grab that lot um, but I'm happy as long as everything in here is in good condition. Okay, so right off the top, we've got the Super Mario Brothers 2 box. I believe these are all just boxes. Yeah, there's no styrofoam insert, which that kind of sucks. Um, and there was no, uh, What's going on here? Okay, this is weird. Um, it looks like whatever company he worked for, or maybe he owns a uh, uh, like a retro store or something. Uh, this particular box is like shrink wrapped. There's nothing in it. You it's too light for there to be something in it and I don't I don't see why anyone would ever okay there's styrofoam in here what's going on with this it's weird there's styrofoam in here but it's not like And it's not like a reproduction box or anything. Okay, it's, I guess it was just to keep the box in shape. Weird. But we got RBI Baseball 2. And you could tell that these aren't like fake reproduction boxes or anything. I mean, they're, they're obviously aged and worn and creased in some areas. So that was kind of odd. All right, and then we've got Bad Dudes. Just box. Heavy, super heavy hitter here. We've got, folks, you ready for this? Track and field two. Here's another one that's got some plastic on it. Weird. I'm just gonna take this off because I know it's, this isn't factory from uh, from Nintendo. It's, it looks like like maybe these came from a like a mom and pop retro store and they put wrap like plastic wrapper around them. This too has a styrofoam insert to keep it in shape, which I can appreciate that, you know, keep the boxes in in as good condition as possible. But I'm going to put the games in here cuz I've got all these games. And for $24, you know, completing all of these games that's a fantastic score fantastic deal Super Mario Brothers 2 complete alone goes for like 35 40 dollars I'm happy with that I am good with that then we've got 
World Games. And the last one, another one is wrapped. I don't understand this. It's just the craziest thing. Like, folks, I promise you, this this is not factory sealed. Because <laughs> there's no game in here, it's just the box. Alright, so, and then we've got the, the styrofoam in there once again. <clears throat> but I've got, like, here's the, here's the cool thing, is that I'll be able to, like, take some of these styrofoam pieces, cut them in half, or cut them to size, and use them to put inside these boxes so then I can put the sleeve in the game and the manual inside. So that's awesome. I'm glad that some of these had the styrofoam in there. Then I'll be able to complete all of these boxes and add some more box games to the collection. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes for 24 bucks. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. That's what, $4 a piece? Yeah. I'm in. Folks, on to the next. Good. Yeah. Oh, you want these? Yeah. Take a look at them. Yeah. Okay. Nice that one. Alrighty. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Not too bad. Yeah, we used to have a PS3 and then like it would quit playing games but it would play movies. And then huh. we couldn't never figure out what was wrong with it. So. You wanted uh, 12 each on them? Yeah. Okay. There should be 24 okay. there. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yes. Uh okay, folks. We got a package in today. And this is coming from one of my subscribers, Mark. Mark hit me up on Instagram. Told me he had two copies of this game, one open and one sealed. Asked me if I'd be interested in a trade for, you know, one of the copies. I was like, absolutely. But go ahead and let me get that uh, that open copy because this is a game I'm definitely going to want to play. Uh, it's a game that I've seen footage for and it looks pretty good. Um, it is a platformer game for the PS4 and that is Rad Rogers. It's about a $10 to $12 game and... Uh, it's one that I've been wanting to play. Like I said, I've seen game gameplay footage of it, and it just looks it just looks fun. So I'm definitely going to throw that in the PS4 tonight and give that a playthrough. So Mark, I thank you once again, and folks, on to the next. Sorry, right, man. How you doing, man? Yeah, you want to just sit on the trunk? Yeah. Social distancing, man. I, I, I don't blame you. <clears throat> I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. <sighs> So it's all in here, all nice and clean. All nice and clean, man. All right, I trust you on that. You can look at it. Might as well take it. Uh, there's your the twenty on that. Thank you, sir. You didn't want Diablo, right? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I played that game until I killed it. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I love Mortal Kombat, but I was playing Combat League, man, and it, for my mental health, I had to get rid of it. Was uh was there any codes or anything with this? No. I used them, so they won't be any. Better. Okay. All right. No code. All right, man. Looks good to me. All right. Take a look. Okay. You gonna need these bags back? Uh, just yeah. that green one. Okay. Mine. Yeah, I brought some extra bags. You doing all right, man? Oh yeah. How you doing, Justin? Pretty good. Pretty good. Clean. It's good to be here. Ready for this mess to be over with? Oh yeah.
That's everything out of there. And that's just the base one. Okay. That's the Yeah, yeah. So that's right there. Yep. Okay, yep. All right, man, looks good. Eighty bucks. Alright. Yeah, let me know when you get uh, those other games together. I'll buy those off of you too. Yeah, I'm going to try. Okay, folks, got a package in today, and this is coming from Mr. Morgan. He recently hit me up and asked me what games I still needed for the N64 collection. So I sent him a picture of the end labels uh, on my sticker sheet. He said, I've actually got one of the games that you still need, and I'll just send it to you, so send me your address. I told him that I'd be more than, more than willing to, you know, shoot him a few bucks for it, because it's not an expensive game. But definitely one that I needed for the collection. Or, you know, trade for it. He said, don't worry about it. He's been trying to sell it for $5 and nobody even wanted it. But, I'll definitely take it. And folks, that is Track and Field 2000. Definitely one I did not have. So, Mr. Morgan, I seriously thank you for helping me out towards the collection. Then, I was at Walmart today picking up a few essential items. And I've had some really good sales on eBay lately, so I figured I'd spoil myself to a brand new game. A game that everyone has been talking about. One that I've never played any of the series. Not for GameCube, not for the 3DS. Uh, so this will be my first time. I'm a, I'm a virgin when it comes to this series. And uh, that is Animal Crossing. Uh, what is that? New Horizons. So I'm going to be playing this on the Switch today. So... Maybe I'm cool now, I don't know. But folks, on to the next. You want a 15 for the box? Yeah. Okay.
Halloween. There's 20. You got change? Yeah. Okay. I don't know when I'm going to get back to See them up there. Yes. Take a look at them. Yeah, I found uh, I found that Sonic game in the Wii the other day when you sold it to me. I knew I was testing. I was like, wait a second. And I was like, where did I? Where did I put that? Right. Because <laughs> I was testing to make sure the Wii still worked. Two Wii Sports in there? Alright. Did you think that I only had, uh, there was only one last night? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess it was the way the, you sent Picture the pictures. Was. Yeah. Alright. And then... Authentic, authentic, and then the gun. That thing's a monstrosity. That it is. <laughs> that thing's huge. That it Good is. Good lord. lord. I, I did some research on it last night. I think this is the Gears of War 5. Yeah. Um, gun. That thing's freaking huge. Yeah, let's go. 125. Well, with the second Wii Sports, is there anything that could be added on to that? Uh, let's see what I got on me. There's 125. I got seven dollars. All right, you know, I think that I can cut that loss with that one. I can cut All that. All right, I, I appreciate that. it. Yeah, I did not know there were two Wii Sports. Um, I think it was just the way you sent the picture. I thought it was. Whoa! I thought it was the same one. Um. No, I mean with the seven dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah, they look good. Not a problem, dude. There you go. Thank you, my friend. Yes, sir. Appreciate the business. Of course. That'd be Um, just pay for this game and I will give you the, I'll, I'll catch up for you. Okay. Um, they say Xbox Live, can you Shutting down the post, uh, post office. I hope that don't happen. If it does, I don't have a job. 
Neither of us do. <laughs> my whole job is uh depend dependent upon that post office. And the stock market's too terrible right now to be like really going in and buying or selling. What well, we agree on? Forty-eight dollars. Forty-eight. All right, man. I had to go a little bit. Uh, I at first was gonna be going, was gonna ask forty-two, but I had to go a little bit higher on this one because the guy I bought it from was. That's he wanted, fine. He wanted to give me a little bit of a hard time. That's fine. There's like the Star Wars game, the Naruto. I don't have that one, or the Star Wars, and I don't have Fossil Fighters Champions. I've got the first one, dude. The picture that you sent. Yeah, I've got that one. These are these are cool little first-party Nintendo games. Are they really? Yeah, they really are. And I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if I've got Mario Kart. I didn't even check the look. I I might have it though. I don't know. There was like one of the kids, one of the guys I went to school with. Uh, his name's Avery. Uh, double count that. Make sure it's all there. Poker Walkers. Ten four. Ten four. Okay, YouTube, it's been, what, about two weeks since the last video? Got some pretty cool stuff going into the collection. And got a few items up here that are still listed and for sale. Some that I have, have yet to list, though. For the items for sale, or that I haven't listed yet, we got the original Xbox controller. The Wavebird. The Wavebird I had to uh, put a new joystick on. But I always keep extras. The same uh, with the Indigo... GameCube controller that was in that box with the GameCube. I had to replace the joystick on that and then uh, I always keep extra sets of AV cables and I was able to bundle that up and get it sold. A um, couple of N64 controllers both of them have uh, bad joysticks. I ordered these. These are the joystick for N64 from Repair Box. These actually come from Hyperkin. Uh, they've got a, a couple of different kinds 
This one is the, the one I can usually get cheapest. It's about $8.45 per joystick. Um, you can spend a little bit extra, like 10 bucks, and get uh, the GameCube style. Uh, but these work just as well. I uh, got a couple of Poker Walkers. I'm waiting on some batteries. Uh, I ordered off of eBay. They were like a dollar. Um, just watch batteries because both of the batteries are dead in those. So I've ordered the batteries. Going to replace them, test them, and then get those listed. This is the double pack for Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports with the manual for both. Uh, these usually sell for around $50 now. Uh, this one is yet to still sell. So I might need to to go back and check the pricing on that and see if I can't get it um, sold as quickly as possible. We got the Xbox 360 uh, rechargeable battery uh, charging stand with the, the cable. I believe that's the cable that goes to it. I could be wrong. Um, no, that's it. Yeah. Then we've got an at play headset. I don't know, just some random USB headset that was in that box. Copy of Sonic Heroes on the GameCube, copy of Mortal Kombat 11, the Premium Edition. I picked up the uh, PS4 Edition, and it sold for 50 plus shipping, so I listed this for the same price. It is still yet to sell as of uh, today. I got a little memory card for PS2 um, and the Action Replay for the DS. That's listed. Then, what's going into the collection, uh, we've got Super Mario Brothers 2. All of these were just box only. Um, I had the manuals and cartridges for most of them. So, all, uh, all three on the back and track and field uh, 2 are all complete now. World Games and RBI Baseball 2, I did not have the games for those, nor the manuals. I thought I did when I bought it, but I did not. So... I've got two of these boxes here for trade or sell. And then going into the collection as far as games, we've got Naruto Clash of the Ninja 2, which is uh, a GameCube exclusive. The, uh, the only games I keep for GameCube are the exclusives. So we got Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2, uh, Jurassic The Hunted on PS3, Sonic Adventure Battle uh, 2 on the GameCube, uh, then we got Naruto Shippuden, Clash of Ninja 3 Revolution, Star Wars The Clone Wars on the Wii. Uh, pretty uncommon game here. There's not many listed on eBay. But we got Fossil Fighters Champions for the DS, and that is complete. I have the first one, and then uh, the guy that I bought from three times in the past two weeks had it, and I had to snatch it up. Animal Crossing Wild World, that's going into the collection, as well as Track and Field 2000. I believe with the addition of this one, I'm down to 38 or 39 N64 games still left needed. Then I picked up Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons on the Switch. This game is crack. Um, you will get highly addicted to this game and um, spend a crap ton of hours on it. So yeah, been enjoying that. I've never played Animal Crossing until this one. Then Rad Rogers, this game is fantastic. I've had so much fun playing that. And we got a little GameCube memory card here, but that's it folks, except for <laughs> this big kahuna, the Gears of War 5 Lancer. I'm still undecided if I want to keep that or if I want to trade or sell it. Um, they go for about $200 uh, in this condition without the box. That's the last one. The last one sold for $210. There's one listed now for $125 plus $75 shipping. So there's your $200 right there. Um, hit me up if you're interested in this. Gears of War 5 Lancer. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. You can find me at Tatted Collector. Um, if you see anything over here that you're interested, interested in, let me know. But there you have it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed your week. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications. Hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.